GNCC is back on RacerTV.com. Round number eight, the Mason Dixon GNCC is Craig along, coming off his first win of the season and looking like the 2023 champ that we've come to know and love. Can he make it happen again here today? All that and more starts right here, right now on RacerTV.com. Well, hello and welcome to round number eight of the 2024 Progressive Grand National Cross Country Racing Series presented by Specialized, your AMA National Championship. We are here for the Parts Unlimited Mason Dixon GNCC. Mikey Wayne's here. I'll be taking you through today's racing action. And as always, we will start with our Specialized Race Recap. We go back to round number seven and it was the number one the defending champion, Craig DeLong, grabbing that uh, whole shot award and grabbing that early lead right away from the rest of the XC1 pack. And as uh, things began to sort themselves out, Craig DeLong was the guy, man, really needed a, uh, a good ride. Ryder Lafferty, how about the start for him? Absolutely sensational, as well as uh, Mike Bukowski. Credit where credit's due, those guys looked good. Uh, early on in this one, but as the race developed, it was the number one Rockstar Energy Husqvarna of uh, Craig DeLong grabbing the early lead and Johnny Girard in that two spot trying to keep pace. Uh, but again, Craig DeLong, a rider, no doubt needed a win. Uh, we started to see him uh, look like his self uh, as the prior race round number six and then how about this this is as good as it gets gncc coming down to the wire right here delong against gerard delong some great defensive riding able to hold off the charging johnny gerard and capture uh what was his is his first win of the season and taking a look there was your oa it was delong gerard grant baylor rounding out the top three Gerard, Stu Baylor, and Jordan Ashburn won two and three in points. It feels good. I mean, uh, I owe it to everybody here on the team and their hard work for uh, kind of keeping me going there at the first couple races. So um, this one's for them. And uh, yeah, just got a good start and I was comfortable there and uh, following Ryder and then I, I was able to sneak around him and I, I was ready to go. And we fast forward to today, again, the Parts Unlimited Mason Dixon GNCC XC1 Pro, Pro, Pro Class locked and loaded as the Steel City Men's Clinic whole shot award up for grabs. Lyndon Snodgrass with a good drive, and it will be the 178. Babbitt's online Monster Energy Team Green Kawasaki of Lyndon Snodgrass grabbing the whole shot and the early lead in this one. Solid job by Snodgrass early. Boy, Snodgrass got a lot of racing left in this one, but uh, could be a good day for him. Lafferty and Mike Wachowski, two and three. Those guys absolutely have these starts dialed this season. Been impressive to watch those guys early on. Maybe we can get uh, the podium for them as well. XC2 250 Pro Class Steel City Men's Clinic. Whole shot award up for grabs yet again. And Draper with a good drive, but no. Oh, taking it at the last second. Going to be the 922. That is Grant Davis on the KTM. So Grant Davis takes the Steel City Medical Center whole shot award and an early lead as he tries to stretch it out. And there you go. Grant Davis, reverse plate, points leader. Liam Draper, the defending champion, sitting in that number two spot. We'll see how the XC2 plays out. Here we go with the FMF XC3 125 Pro-Am class. Lojack Cycle Sales whole shot award up for grabs. No doubt about this. That is going to be Jack Walker. <laughs> A little rev right there in celebration. Grabbing that whole shot. 
an early lead here at the Parts Unlimited. Mason Dixon being challenged early, though. Like it, little side-by-side -side action as we jump out front, back out front with the XC1 Pro class, and it is still Lennon Snodgrass leading the way. And how about the pressure right there? You had Ryder Lafferty and Mike Wachowski in the mix. And the rest of the heavy hitters here out of the XC1 class, Craig DeLong coming off that win, about middle of the pack right now. We'll see him uh, chip away at it. I have no doubt about it, but stage is set and looking good. And how about that? Here we go, Jordan Ashburn on the Coastal Racing Factory Gas Gas, your new leader. So Ashburn now in front. Ashburn, uh, that win has eluded him this year. He is coming off, uh, boy, not a great round seven. Would like to have that one back. Ended up 11th, I believe. So Jordan and Ashburn needs a good ride here today to get things turned around. Stu Baylor, another guy, really needs a good ride here today. Coming off a 10th place finish in round number seven as well. Of course, uh, it was DeLong who picked up the win. Gerard doing everything he can. Win your championships on your bad day. And so far this season, the bad days for Girard have been second and thirds. He's got two seconds, two thirds, three wins coming into today. And your points leader running that reverse plate is Girard. So Girard doing all the right things. Snodgrass grabbing a whole shot, looking good early, but it is Jordan Ashburn out in front. Can he hang on and grab his first win of the season? We'll be right back after this. Progressive GNCC Racing is brought to you by Progressive. Progressive could save you hundreds of dollars on your automobile and motorcycle insurance. Specialized, specialized e-turbo bicycles. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Get ready. And yeah, welcome back to GNCC here on RacerTV.com. Jordan Ashburn, your early leader in this one. That was Mike Wachowski, the 282 in that number two spot. Snodgrass sitting in the three position right now. String up into the mix. Gerard right behind him. And there goes Craig DeLong. So things sorting themselves out. Not the best start here uh, for Stu Baylor as he tries to reset. But again, it is Ashburn out in front in this one. Snodgrass still in the two spot. There is Strang, so Strang up into the number three spot. There is Gerard, there is Baylor. So I miss Baylor. So Baylor, not a terrible start. About middle of the pack, but starting to chip things, chip away at it and work his way up toward the front. Baylor needs a good ride. Baylor in a situation, uh, boy, really needs some wins. If nothing else, needs to finish in front of Johnny Girard to chip away at the points lead Girard holds coming into round number eight. DeLong looking good early in this one. And uh, boy, if you're new to GNCC, I know we've been uh, focused on the moto side the last, uh, well, last month really with Loretta Lins. Uh, but uh, again, if you're new to GNCC, recap episodes uh, condensed down to uh, just right at about 30 minutes, but these guys are out there on Sundays racing for three hours in these uh, demanding conditions and uh, just absolutely sensational athletes, to say the least. Uh, they're out there with the XC1 Pro class, the XC2, as you saw, the XC3. But in addition to that, as Ashburn continuing to lead this one, uh, but in addition to that, uh, just kind of GNCC 101 for you here. Snodgrass going by right there. Uh, you have all of your other amateur riders in the A and the B class out there racing as well. Uh, so time adjustments based upon uh, when your row takes off. And uh, these guys, you know, just the, the added element, these guys have to go out there and battle uh, the terrain, the track, uh, each other. And then uh, you've got lap traffic that you get into when you get late in the race. And uh, we've seen it make a difference in the outcomes of a race. Pretty wild to watch. There is Lyndon Snodgrass. And unless we miss Jordan Ashburn, I think uh, Snodgrass is going to be your leader. He is as Ashburn, maybe a little mistake, had to check up. Something happened in there. And Ashburn now in the two spot as Josh Strang sitting in third place. 
So Strang looking good early and on the hunt. There is Stu Baylor and just behind him, Johnny Girard got the water bottle hanging from the mouth. Ricky Russell having a good start to this one. Craig DeLong still in the mix, in the fight. Evan Smith having a decent day right there with the lead pack. And here comes Snodgrass, the 178. We take a look at the season Snodgrass has had, and it has been really a season of ups and downs. Just one podium under his belt. Uh, that came down in the sands of Florida, in Palaka, Florida. But outside of that, best finish to date, a fifth in round number four. He's got a DNF on the season, so boy, Snodgrass would love nothing more than to uh, put himself in a winning situation, if nothing else, a podium. Kind of get his season turned around. As the XC1 guy's coming through right there, still very, very tight racing. Hey, how about that good send? <laughs> Craig DeLong just behind him. Doing work through the woods. Ashburn out in front, the number three, Coastal Racing Factory, Gas Gas. Ashburn, another guy. Uh, no wins this season, plenty of podiums. Uh, at least, what, uh, two, well, two podiums, I guess, to date. And uh, just been off the off the podium. Now I think about it, uh, three fourth place finishes. So Ashburn finishing just off the box in three rounds. You know he wants to get a podium. Certainly wanted that win when we were uh, down home in Tennessee for Jordan Ashburn. Just eluded him, uh, and he has been focused since since that race coming out here swinging. XC1 rolling through. And that is not an XC2 or XC1 rider. That is an XC2 rider. That is Grant Davis. Now well up into the overall. Look at that. What a save by Jordan Ashburn with Snodgrass and Strang applying the pressure. And Ashburn able to keep it on two wheels. But again, Grant Davis leading the way for the XC2 class. There goes Stu Baylor. And uh, there is Johnny Girard just behind Stu, keeping him in the crosshairs. And here comes Ashburn, Mason Dixon, GNCC, the hollowed grounds of the Mason Dixon GNCC. Of course, just across the road from uh, High Point. Pro Motocross visiting High Point. There's no place like home. Home for, well, most of the, uh, the staff with Racer Productions, GNCC. Call this home. This is the home race. Get to sleep in their own bed. Not a bad deal. I don't, but that's okay. I do when we head over to Indiana. I'll take it. Ashburn out in front, Snodgrass in second, and now Stu Baylor up into third, applying the pressure to Snodgrass. So Stu Baylor looking to make a pass. There goes Ashburn, and Baylor able to make the pass on Lyndon Snodgrass. That is one of our lapped riders, and we are looking for the 178. No, it's going to be the 969 of Johnny Girard up into the three spot as Snodgrass now back into fourth place. So Snod Snodgrass fighting for the lead early as there goes Strang. Uh, again, fighting for the lead early in this one. Now back just off of the podium in fourth place. There goes Ashburn. See how far back Ashburn gets a little bit of breathing room now back to the 5-1-4 of Stu Baylor. And is this going to be Johnny Girard? No, Snodgrass gets around Girard. So Girard now back in fourth. So we got, uh, hey, I like it, trading positions. Here comes the dogfight. Ashburn out in front, tough guy to pass. Stu Baylor is looking for opportunity, though, right on the rear wheel of Jordan Ashburn. And there goes Girard, so a little back and forth again. Girard now out in front of Snodgrass. And Snodgrass under pressure right now from Dante Oliveira. Dante Oliveira not racing a full season with us this year, just uh, some select rounds. Credit where credit's due. Picked up a win uh, in round number four, Camp Coker Bullet. Grabbed a win there. Looking real good. And there is Girard, the 969 coming through. There is Lyndon Snodgrass. And a changeup for you right there. Strang back in four. Strang, man, Strang riding very well, as is Ricky Russell. There goes Craig DeLong. Everything up for grabs. I believe that was Evan Smith. Didn't quite catch the number plate. The shirt certainly looked like him. And there was Mike Wachowski just behind him as we take a look from the Yamaha Racing Live Drone. Oh, he goes down. A little slide out coming around that turn. 
Able to get back on that machine quick, Jordan Ashburn, and back on the throttle, but boy, tough break for him. As now I believe it is the 5-1-4, Stu Baylor out in front. There is Ashburn in the number two spot. So Ashburn, a little slide out, able to recover quick and get back on the throttle, get back up in the fight with Stu Baylor, your leader out in front. And still lurking in the shadows. Boy, kind of on an island by himself right now is the 969 of Johnny Girard. Johnny Girard doing a very good job this year, in my opinion, as uh, Baylor goes by with uh, Ashburn in tow of remaining focused on, on the big picture. He's made several comments about it. Uh, you know, focused on winning the championship. Winning races is awesome, he says. But boy, if I'm doing what I need to do to continue to put myself in a position to maintain that points lead as we get late into the season, that's the goal. Championship is the goal for Girard, and so far, so good. Baylor is the man in the two spot. Baylor, the man who needs a win today point in the season here where Stu Baylor right now, we know he's doing math. I've questioned this before. And, uh, ooh, nice, nice send right there. Ashburn got such a just methodical, kind of flawless style. Flows with the track very well. There goes Gerard. But Baylor again in a position where he's really got to click off wins and just, you know, not worry about what's going on behind him. That's going to be the obvious goal. Now, we've had situations where Baylor has excuse me, Baylor has been in this situation before. And uh, we're, right when we think, hey, you're probably just worried about winning, right? And he's, yes, that is true. However, I'm also doing math. He's got the abacus out on the racetrack and he is seeing uh, how many points did I chip away. So if I'm in first, Gerard's back in third, you know, carry the three, uh, divide the four. Anyways, my point is uh, Baylor is just constantly fingers on the pulse of every different aspect uh, that goes into racing. The guy's in tune to Moto, too. We had him out at Loretta's uh, a year ago and uh, got him on the mic, and he is very in tune to amateur racing on the Moto side as well. Johnny Girard ripping through right there. Who's it going to be? Baylor, Girard, Ashburn, all in the fight. The man out front is Stu Baylor. We'll be right back after this. Progressive GNCC Racing is brought to you by Progressive. Progressive could save you hundreds of dollars on your automobile and motorcycle insurance. Specialized. Specialized e-turbo bicycles. It's you, only faster. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. Well, here we go. Coming down to the wire right here. Look at this. This is as good as it gets Little lap traffic getting in the way, but it is Johnny Girard out in front, trying to hang on for a win, able to get around Stu Baylor. Stu Baylor continuing to apply the pressure late in this one. Boom, around more lap traffic as they dip back into the woods. And here you go, the 969 KTM, that factory KTM out in front, Stu Baylor on the Red Bear. Rocky Mountain ATV, MC, Kawasaki in that two spot. Oh, all over him. Different line choice right here. Baylor going for it. Gerard says no, sir, as he shuts the door. And Gerard looking like he's going to hang on for the win. Yes, he will. So Johnny Gerard, the 969, will hang on for the win in one heck of a race. A fist bump with Stu Baylor. Boy, Stu wanted that one. He needed it. Johnny Girard able to hold him off late in this one. So a big congratulations. And you don't think Stu Baylor laid it all out on the line? Man. That last lap, man, I just rode like uh, nothing really mattered. And yeah, obviously it worked. And uh, a couple close calls, me and Stu came together a couple times. He was riding like an animal. And uh, yeah, he ended up just washing the front end and that's how I got around him. I. Uh, got Jordan going up the hill and uh, yeah it was a it was a hectic uh, last lap but hey man got her done well a big congratulations to Johnny Girard absolutely a uh, sensational ride by him Ashburn I believe gonna hang on for third let's see 
got back into the overall lead, and from there, you know, I was just trying to uh, play the pit board game and control that lead and manage that lead. And knew Ashburn was second, and uh, nobody seemed to be gaining. And uh, I guess I just was was misinformed on that last lap, and just made a slight mistake. And Johnny got right by right there at the finish, or uh, a mile back. And man, it was it's a dog fight. I tried everything I could, but you know, sometimes sometimes everything you can't everything you got isn't isn't quite good enough. So stand corrected. Grant Davis is going to take third in the OA. Ashburn will take third in the XC1 class. And a shout out to Angus Reardon taking uh, fourth. I actually broke my ribs a week and a half ago. And it was already hard enough. And of course, I had to slide out and land right on him and knock the wind out of myself and everything. But and then Gus caught me and he passed me. And I got him like a mile before the finish, so it was a good race for sure. I'm happy. Well, there you go. As we take a look at it, Gerard Baylor, Grant Davis will take third. Ashburn, fourth in the point standings. Grant Davis from the XC2 class, third in points on the year. Impressive young man. No doubt about that. And with that, as we were looking at the specialized race recap, you got to think going into round number nine, uh, Snowshoe, real quick. Uh, Grant Baylor going to be row number one as we take off and uh, pay tribute to the Blackwater 100. Going to be very cool. Jordan Ashburn enjoying the early lead in this one. A little back and forth with uh, Lyndon Snodgrass. And then Stu Baylor. He got a piece of the pie out in front early with a lead. And uh, boy, had a lead for a, a, a good portion of this as uh, Ashburn tried to keep pace in that number two spot. And Ashburn Hall's oh, looking good right there. I mean, that is as good as it gets. But again, Stu Baylor trying to stretch this thing out in front. Couple of small mistakes here and there, but uh, boy, solid day for him. But boy, as it got late, it was Johnny Girard taking the lead away from Stu Baylor. Stu Baylor, I mean, absolutely ringing the Kawasaki out. Machine smoking at the end of this one, but it was the 969 with the reverse plate. Points leader, Johnny Girard able to hang on for the win over Stu. Again, big congratulations, Grant Davis, rounding out the box. Solid day, that is gonna wrap things up. We'll be back with more on racertv.com with GNCC. I'm Mikey Waynes, we'll see you at the races.